Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're coming back to the White Fox to uh, give it a more in-depth look. Now I have been using this on my secondary workstation. I primarily run Linux, um, but I turn, I've got an L-shaped desk, I turn, I have a Windows machine. Um, I used to just use virtual machines, but now because I'm having to test a lot of window driver software and I'm also working on a project that is .NET and basically just it's just easier just to have a separate workstation for that but that has been there since I completed production of my last video on the White Fox Eclipse and every time I I get on it I'm just like reminded like I'll be busy about what I'm doing and then for a second my fingers are like oh it's you again nice to see you I, I just um, I enjoy this keyboard it it sounds it feels good um, I've I like how it sounds better in the aluminum case but for some reason I've, I guess it's just because it's easier to move around I have when I print stuff out to go over whatever I'm doing it's easier to just pick this one up and move it aside um, Though a couple times that I knew that I was going to sit down and just be coding at it, I'd flip it into the aluminum case. So I, I love that flexibility. I haven't decided where to take off the double-sided <laughs> double tape on the battery um, to commit to it to one case because I want to use it in both. And I'll probably just reach out to um, uh, APOS Audio or um, Alpaca Keyboards and ask them if I can buy an extra battery I'm hoping that that that's an option anyway I I want to find you know some uh, I want to be able to share something that you know I, I dislike or it, this could have been done differently um, just to for the balance um, I, I don't know I can't I, I just can't I enjoy this keyboard always i mean i'm sure this applies to a lot of people but since i was a kid and i first discovered magnets magnets were just so amazing because of that invisible force that you know either repelled them or attracted them and the fact that i can just switch to a heavier case that sounds better if i'm going to have a long typing session you know or this or you know on on this nice um now i do believe they have yeah they have the cnc uh, low profile case uh, but this is the plastic one so it's even though it's substantial enough it's still light and easy and I can take off with it I have paired it over Bluetooth um, to that workstation um, as there's a couple times I've needed to go into another room to look something up and I could still be on this one and be on a server so uh, and I just but I am um, I, 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 I like the keycaps. I, I get a little bit of a retro modern kind of feel out of them. I love the, the Fox. I mean, most of the time, keycap sets will give you the win. Sometimes they're cool and they'll give you a super or a code. I like those. You know, and include the win too. Some people want to use them, but I, I don't use Windows. Huh? So I prefer, I mean, yes, obviously this one's on Windows. So I guess I do use Windows. I, I'd not use when I would not use Windows if I had the option, or if it, you know, it's just. I mean, like I said, I, I'd have to run Windows in one way or the other, even in a virtual machine. So I might as well. Um, I just load it up an old laptop with it. But anyway, enough about the Windows. So nice, sturdy. I mean, this is so substantial, and I love, just love. I mean, it, it's gotten definitely been getting its uh its use i've been enjoying the fact that like i said i can use the um been enjoying the fact that i could use the the aluminum case uh, for long uh, bouts of typing because it does have a higher typing angle and it just for long-term use but like i said the portability of this one's really nice and it's just so well built that 
I mean, I'd be, I kind of be quite honest. Of course, I could do a, a Tempest tape mod to it, but I'm really happy with how it sounds, the way it is. I don't, I don't know if I'm. So, but I have been asked, what would it sound like without the foam? What I was thinking of is just instead of doing a mod video right now because this was really just meant to be a long-term review and I will come back and I will do mods Tempest tape mod I may do the pet mod to it as well um, I wanted to switch out switches and keycaps that way you know we can get an idea of what it sounds like with some tactile switches and some double shot PBT keycaps so um, not that I think that, that any modding I'm going to do is going to damage it or be permanent. I just, um, I, I don't know, kind of once I modded it, I modded it and I kind of leave it. I, I don't like removing mods. I feel like I'm just throwing down work. I mean, obviously, if it doesn't work, I'm going to take it down. But if it sounds good, so, um, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's going to change the experience, the pleasant experience that it gives. Um, I, I don't know. I've quite enjoyed using it and and like I said this the magnetic feet uh, that's one thing that I was concerned with because I have a lot of magnetic feet I've got one right here for an RK board uh, but they're not the strongest magnets they have I have I think I lost one and then I actually got an extra one and somehow in like a one of the keyboards I ordered that had been returned like a, a Amazon warehouse stuff. But anyway, now I actually have, or I got an extra pair because I think I have an extra single one foot for an RK board. But the magnets on them are, you know, the strongest. These I have not had an issue with. I've, you know, moved it around. I've taken it to different desks. I've carried it with me while I go up and down the stairs for some reason or another. Uh, <laughs> and I have yet to lose a foot. I haven't had a foot come off accidentally. I mean, I being on it, but they're on there good. But if I need to take them off, it's not like it's not difficult at all. They just come off. But once they're on there, they're on there well. I mean, the design that they came up with, I like. Anyway, so what I was thinking of today, um, I previously bought a set of these Moondrop. They're Tessence. Uh, Tessence um, tactiles. Now, I the build that I did with them, a friend of mine really liked, and he ended up taking it off my hands. And I only have a few wandering around. Every time I come through it, I'm like, oh, that's such a nice tactile, and it's ready to go. I have a few others that I have yet to do reviews of, and I'll probably get to lube in them. Um, but these I know and these I like so I figured all right let's put some uh, tactile switches on it and then for keycaps I still wanted to stay with the clean look I've been quite enjoying the clean look don't get me wrong I love the, the blue pop-up you know the blue extra liveliness that it brings or the the blue highlight but I want to go clean clean so I wanted to stick with the clean aesthetic so I decided to go with um, these are ghost judges uh, from KPR and it's just a black on white but they're double shot PBT so we're gonna go from a die sub PBT to a double shot PBT with a tactile switch and then do a couple of sound tests on both this one and the aluminum case um, if you guys have any questions about this let me know I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this keyboard this is a uh, this has become quite a uh, quite a joy to use, and like I said, it's innovative, and I I like the fact that it's you know changing things up. It's not just doing the same old you know mounting system, the same old way of doing things. I mean, yes, they're using QNK Vaya. Thank you. Um, is it is it going to change keyboards forever? No. Is it a pleasant keyboard that's well designed and that's very adaptable and convertible absolutely um, does it sound nice 
it's it has a a quiet thought that would be my description of its sound profile because I mean it's deep but I mean even if you type hard it's gonna be hard to really bother people with it because I mean it about sounds well not sounds like but it's about the same volume level that a membrane keyboard if you're typing loud on with sound I'd argue that probably some membranes are probably louder than this um, volume wise but so uh, it, it could work for the office it could work on the go um, it's uh, I, don't know, I really I really like it the angle is actually quite nice uh, it's low enough that I've been able to use it without um, a wrist rest when I put it in the uh, the aluminum case it's just easier to use a wrist press but um yeah so i think i covered everything that i was asked to like i said I'm, i will come back to it at some point and do a mod but i figured for right now just i wanted to give you my impression of using it over the last few weeks um and also try it with the different switches and keycaps um i think we'll get a different um sound profile I don't think it'll be extremely different but I think that it'll be interesting to see how it'll come out now of course you guys can um I'll link to the original review and sound test below so if you guys want to listen to both of them or if you guys would like me to do a super cut I can do a super cut just throw a comment down below let's get a conversation going all right so let's go ahead and get started we'll open up these uh, Tessence moon drop switches and we'll go ahead and drop them in and then we'll go for the keycaps and see and see what we got all right so today I'm going to be loading up black on white ghost judges keycaps uh, from KP Republic. I did buy these, but I bought them uh, at a discount. Um, they uh, actually went on sale for like 15 bucks for not all the sets, but a few sets. Um, I want to say during Christmas or was it Black Friday? I can't even recall. But for me, these are these are top of the line. Uh, I mean, top of the line in, within a certain budget. But for if you want to get really nice keycaps, but you don't want to spend over, you know, thirty-five, forty-five dollars, I think these are great sets. Not only because they're nicely double-shot PBT, they have nice, clean legends that are readable, that are straight. Uh, the keycaps are always made nice and straight. They have a pretty good tone. They're quite well kitted out. So they have, I mean, four trays of keys. There's practically no keyboard. These are not going to fit on. They're going to work on ISOs. They're going to work on split space bars. Um, they've got, you know, I mean, but this is black on white, and it has white on green um, extras, even space bars. I mean, not too many keycap sets are this complete especially at this price and at this quality. So I just wanted to, to throw that in there real quick in case you didn't know about Ghost Judges keycaps. I've um, introduced a few people to them and they've come back to me and they've gone, wow, man, these are just like, you know, they, they bought, you know, maybe some Shine 3 keycaps and this is like one of the first or second sets they bought. And they say something to the effect of, you know, wow, is this is this what GMK are like? I'm like, it's not the same, but these are very good for the price. I'd rather have a set of Ghost Judges than GMK, but that's just me. So as you can see, it's a nice thorough and double shot. So we should have an interesting tone with these, which I'm curious to see. And they're gonna look nice. I think I'm gonna do the arrows um, black, but yeah, I'm just going to pretty pretty much leave it the same, except... Actually, I guess I could do the escape key black, too, because that would match what we had on the original. All right, so here we are, loaded up with the black on white double-shot PBT. 
and the tessence or the moon drop tessence tactile switches um this is very similar to kind of what i had in my head as to what this was going to sound like it's a peaceful quiet funk uh, but with that that bump the I mean, I love all switches, but if I have to pick one, it's the tactile switch. A nice heavy bump, and that's what these have. And quite like them. I got them on sale, and I just had to get them. Um, I I like how it feels. I mean, it, like I said, it's still maintained. Uh, it's because of the construction. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out of here real quick. Oh, oh, pull the key caps off. All right. And put it into the aluminum case. Easier to lift it up with two hands. always want to make sure that the um, switch is on the right side and that we're going in with the USB there we go as long as it's nice and flat here it's going to allow the top frame to stick on in yeah, I gotta say I, um, I quite like it like this so like I said I'm gonna I wasn't sure what I was going to do today, but then I thought, yeah, switches and keycaps, just for right now, so that we can get a different experience. Still cherry profile, but double shot PBT as opposed to die sub. And, you know, we've got some tactile switches because why not? I'm going to leave you guys with sound tests, both in the aluminum high profile case and in the starter plastic uh, low profile case. And um, I. I gotta say, I'm probably gonna keep it like this until I come back to mod it because I like how this looks. I, I'm a big fan of just, you know, a nice clean aesthetic, but I'm loving how it sounds, I really am. So, if you guys have any questions, any suggestions for mods you'd like to see me do, anything else, like I've said before, throw them down in the comments. I do my best to answer as many of them as possible. I like to get conversations started. Until the next transmission, keep calming, keyboard on.